Hey, peace, love, and light to y'all. This is your girl, Charmaine. I'm here to do a reading for the sign of Leo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node. We're going to see what is going on, all right? Y'all remember, this could be the past, the present, or the future. So if it doesn't resonate, leave it on out. Take what's yours and leave the rest, all right? Um, but yeah, we're going to get right into this energy to see what is going on with my lovely lions. Okay. Also guys, quick disclaimer, I do curse. So if you have little ones, um, please remember to step into another room or put headphones on. And again, I'm not trying to tell you what to do with your life, baby. No, I'm just letting you know, cause I will want somebody to tell me. All right. All right, y'all, let's get right into this energy. Divine Spirit, guys, can you please show me Leo? What is the energies around my Leos at this time? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Leos, please. All right, we have Stop. We have Confidence. Uh, we have Mystery. All right, let's see. One more for Leo, please. Leo, Leo, please. Spirit, Leo. All right, we have Anger. At the bottom of the deck, we do have protection. All right. So first off, I do want to let y'all know um, y'all are definitely uh, protected here. I feel like you guys have um, like ancestors, guides. You are definitely divinely protected here. All right. In the spiritual realm, whatever this is that you're going through. OK, Leo, because I do with this anger card before it even came out, I was feeling anger. All right. When I seen stop because of the red, the red was really showing me a lot of anger. You guys could really. Um, be using um, this anger to feel your confidence here in something that you're worried about. Maybe you're worried um, about something or trying to figure something out here and it's making you angry because you can't figure it out. All right. All right. Really quick, guys, if you hear my children in the background, I do apologize. Um, I had to do the readings now because I do have a lot going on this week. So I wanted to get them out, but I do have my kids. All right. I am a mama. All right, y'all. Although I am in another room, but hey, sometimes you just hear them. They, they, you know how it go. When you're a mama, they be loud on purpose. All right. Anywho, um, I feel like even though you guys may be angry here at the core, you may be trying to put on this smile here like you're okay. All right. For some of you, you may feel stuck between a rock and a hard spot here. All right. I do get an energy of some of you guys, you may be calling on your guides here to help you in a situation or to help you figure out a situation that you're unsure about. All right. But I do want to say, Leo, whatever this is that has you angry, let it go. All right. There's no need because I definitely with this stop card, I feel like the divine is telling you there's no need to be angry. Whatever this mystery is or whatever this is that you're trying to figure out here, I feel like the divine is kind of divinely guided. I'm getting I'm feeling like whatever it is, it's not going to affect you. The divine will let you see it in divine timing. Um, stop stressing on it um, and sitting back and letting it bother you and hoard, have you hoarding all these um, negative feelings or thoughts. I'm definitely getting someone who may be in their head a lot here that's thinking about a lot here. I don't know why these two things right here just reminds me of someone who's stuck between um, a rock and a hard spot. But I'm definitely getting that. Maybe you can't see what's um, on the other side of these two pillars here, but don't worry about it. You will see it in divine timing. All right. You are definitely highly protected here. All right. And, and you got OK here. This soon as I seen this rejection. All right. And then there go fear. I feel like as soon as I seen this, though, um, this rejection, I, I heard. Sometimes you being rejected is for your protection, all right? And maybe there's something that you're fearing here, something that you're very passionate about here, all right? And you may be isolating yourself as well, all right? But I feel like whatever this is that you're passionate about, in divine timing, it will be seen. Some of you guys really need to um, <clears throat> cleanse your energy here, all right? But whether it be a spiritual bath, going outside, grounding yourself, um, some of you really need to release this negative energy. All right. So you can bring some balance back into your situation because I do feel the energy of you guys holding on to a lot of, of pain and frustration from the past here that may be turning into anger. All right. But let's see what's going. Let's see what's comes out in the cards. All right. Divine spirit. Can you please show me my lovely lions? What is going on with my lions? All right. We have the Hierophant. All right. I keep looking at that anger card. I feel like somebody is watching you be angry as well. I don't know why I get that energy. 
Pisces, but I feel like somebody is just watching you. This eye here gives me the energy. Um, not that you're watching someone, but that they're watching you here to see if they can make you angry or have they made you angry or if you're angry about a situation. All right. Spirit, what else is going on with my lovely lions at this time? Leo, sun, moon, rising, Venus. What is going on with Leo? Please, please show me Leo. Y'all hear my son out there? I swear they do that on purpose, y'all. We have the Six of Wands. Um, we have the Ace of Swords. We have uh, the Hermit. We have the Fool card. All right. Um, Spirit, please give me three more cards for Leo, please. Leo. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, we do have the Two of Pentacles. All right, we have uh, the Ace of Cups. And we have the Seven of Pentacles. All right, at the bottom of the deck, we do have the High Priestess. Y'all definitely, there is something definitely here that you feel is a mystery or a secret or something that you're trying to figure out here. But with the High Priestess, okay, you guys do have an inner knowing. Maybe your gut is telling you that something is off or something is not right here within a situation. But with the Ace of Swords, like I said, the clarity um, of this situation is definitely coming in for you. You guys have the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Cups, all right? So some of you do have new love coming in here. Um, for others of you, this is reconciliation in a love situation, all right? With the Seven of Pentacles, I definitely feel like this, uh, for some of you, this has been a situation that's been a long time coming here. I feel like you may have planted seeds within a connection or a situation here. And I feel like for a long time, you really didn't see the results um, of you, the seeds that you planted here. Maybe you were Maybe you feel like you didn't water it well or whatever the case may be here, but I feel like it's starting to have some sort of growth, all right? Whether this is growth within a connection or a project here that you have out here, okay? With the Two of Pentacles here, Leo, I feel like you guys really have been juggling something. When I, when the Two of Pentacles flew out, I did hear... Um, I, I'm, I can't lie. I feel like some people are juggling their self-worth um, versus... A situation for some of you, I really feel like uh, you're being guided here to really examine a situation where you're unhappy. Okay, uh, this could be a situation where you probably knew that you were unhappy in anyways, but you took a leap of faith here um, and involved yourself here in a long term commitment here with the Hierophant. This could be spirituality for some of you as well. But um, I'm definitely getting somebody here who took a leap of faith. All right, because you really wanted a victory here in the situation. But this situation has had you juggling your self-worth here. All right. Um, but Leo, regardless of what happened in the past, there is some truth that is coming out here. Some truth that you will see are, um, for some of you, this is like coming through, uh, your crown chakra. This could be coming through like your dreams. Um, this could be coming, uh, oh, excuse me, Leo. I don't know. I got indigestion really bad, but um, this could be coming through your dreams. As I was saying, um, this could be downloads from spirit. I really feel like spirit is trying to show you something here. For some of you, you guys, you really need to take some time alone here in the quiet. Excuse me. So you can, um, you know, get in the quiet. Sometimes when we get in the quiet, we're able to see, um, and hear and feel things more clearly. For some of you, things may have been a little chaotic here, um, especially when you're having all this anger built up. It may not be easy for you to um, get in touch with your intuition here around this situation because you are holding on to a lot of resentment here within a connection or within a situation, okay? And it's de you're definitely being called here to take some time out. Um, to reflect on this situation. Look at where you have growth, where you haven't had growth. Where are you happy at? Where are you not happy at? Okay. Um, especially after this truth comes to the forefront, because I feel like Leo, some of you guys are really starting to see someone for who they are. Okay. And as much as you try to, to deny the fact that, um, it, 
this person, before I go too far, let me pull some more clarifiers, all right? I'm getting so many intuitive messages for you guys at this time, but I'm going to pull some cards, all right? But I definitely feel someone is juggling their self-worth here. I don't know why I'm picking up on that so strongly here. Um, uh, for Leo, some of you guys, you do have a new love co offer coming in here, okay? Uh, like I said, for others of you, this could be a reconciliation here. But you have to be sure, Leo, that you're not coming from a place of anger, all right, because it would be hard for you to recognize this if you're holding on to resentment from a past situation or if you're holding on to resentment with your current person from the past. All right. But let's get some clarifier spirit. What is the Hierophant about? Please, please show me the Hierophant for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Please show me the Hierophant. All right, we have um, the Six of Pentacles. All right, so uh, lack of, I, I really feel like here in the past, okay, um, Leo, you may have been giving more in a situation than someone else here. I do feel like this is a long-term commitment. And with the stop card being on top of that, I feel like Spirit is saying, stop being so generous within a connection here. Sorry, I was letting that car go by. Uh, I had to open the window because I was saging but before I started the reading, but anywho. I feel like spirit is saying, stop being so generous um, in a connection where you're not receiving the same thing in return. Maybe you give this person. Yeah, look, we have the four of swords at the bottom of the deck and the four of wands. OK, so double fours could be significant. But again, this is putting something to rest in a connection. Stop giving so much of yourself here when you're not receiving that back in return. OK, it's definitely time for you to put your foot down in a situation. What is the full card here? For Leo, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, the full card spirit. What is the full card for Leo? The full card, please. Leo, also for some of you, it's time for you to get some crystals. Uh, maybe that you can wear around your neck. I don't know. This crystal is really standing out to me here. Some of you guys need to get um a Christian, a, a Christian, a, a crystal here for protection that you wear around your neck or a crystal that wards off because it looks like amethyst to me, but something to ward off negative energy. You guys could definitely be picking up on the energy of someone else here. Yeah, with the page of swords and the lovers, you could definitely... Um, have a uh, a serious connection here with someone who you, you're picking up on their energy and turning it into your own. So you need to just make sure that you're protecting yourself here from other people's energy, okay? Because I do feel like it's affecting you a lot, all right? Spirit, what is the full card here for Leo? What is the full card? Why is the full card here? All right. All right. So, yeah, we do. We have the moon. <clears throat> so I feel like even though things weren't clear to you here, Leo, you still took a leap of faith here with someone. All right. I feel like with the way I'm looking at these two um, seals here, I feel like somebody may have warned you here. Um, to not take a leap of faith, but I feel like you love this person. So you took a leap of faith anyways. Yeah, look, not only that, we have the seven of cups here. Another, another card of illusions, you know, I feel like something was unclear here. Okay. But even though it was unclear here, you still held on to the situation. All right. You could be dealing with um, a cancer here. Uh, you could be dealing with really any sign. All right, we have Virgo, Cancer, we have air signs, all right? Uh, yeah, we have every sign, really. We have Taurus here, all right? But what is the full card in the moon, please? What is the full card in the moon, please, for Leo Spirit? The full card in the moon. All right, I feel like... Yeah, look, the lovers and the queen of swords, all right? So I feel like you used um, your intelligence here, all right? Because the queen of swords definitely is um, <clears throat> someone who's very intelligent, all right? But um, Leo, I feel like you're taking a leap of faith as well and to speak your truth here so you can gain clarity on whatever these illusions are here. So this week, you could definitely um, be expressing your opinion here um, or cutting things out that no longer serve you. Um, especially within a love connection, all right, where you may feel like there's 
secrets here are where you may not be clear are so clear on how things are going here. I do see you guys uh, really speaking your truth here with confidence, okay? And letting someone know where you stand that you will no longer deal with these illusions. You're, I feel like, you know, with this anger, you're just tired of dealing with illusions here after giving so much of yourself here. Yeah, we have the high priestess again, um, Leo. So you guys definitely have some wisdom, some secret knowledge. You could be a tarot card reader. You could be in the public eye. All right. But I feel like, oh, is this the high, oh, this is the high priest we have here again. All right. So we have the hierophant twice. All right. But still, at the still same scenario with the high priestess here, you could be um, in the public eye tarot card reader, someone who do birth charts, things like that. Or um, this could be you getting a tarot card reading on someone or someone getting a tarot card reading on you here to figure out what to do in a situation. All right. Uh, but once again, like I said, you have the wisdom here with the high priest. You have the wisdom and the knowledge of what to do in a situation here. You just have to tap into your intuition here to figure out where, where are your guides guiding you? What is your intuition telling you to do here? So you can have a victory here, either within a situation or by yourself, okay? What is the Six of Wands for Leo, please? What is the Six of Wands for Leo? I'm trying to keep this video, y'all, under 25 minutes. See, once again, didn't I just say that? That's crazy. You can't make this up. We have the high priestess uh, and we have the seven of swords. All right. So definitely, definitely, like I was saying, listen to your intuition here when it comes to whatever these uh, secrets are, this deception, this disloyalty, whatever this is that your intuition is telling you about. It's time for you to go within and really figure this out. Like I said, whether it's... um being alone or within a connection, but your intuition is definitely guiding you and letting you know that it's time to do some self-reflection here because there has been some sort of dishonesty here, some sort of um, dishonor here. And I feel like your intuition is telling you that here. Okay. But like I said, you may have wanted a victory here with this person. So you may be um, kind of blocking it out or trying not to see it here, but I feel like your guides is, is not no longer letting you um, be alone illuminated to what's going on. All right. It's time to make a change. Either something has to change in a situation or you have to change your placement in this situation. All right. For some of you, yeah, the sun and the eight of wands, it's time your, your happiness is rapidly coming in. And for some of you walking away from this situation, this King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you got to have the strength here. All right. To walk away from someone who you thought was a soulmate here with the two of cups. It's just time for you to walk away and go after your own happiness. For some of you, like I said, this will be um, a reconciliation coming in from a King of Cups. Like maybe they're trying to have the strength to come in and bring you your happiness. But for everybody, it's going to be different. All right. Because this is a collective reading. What is the Two of Pentacles, please? For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is the Two of Pentacles for Leo? Spirit, what is the Two of Pentacles, please? For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Leo. Leo, I just get a huge energy of you being tired of something and just really ready to go after your own happiness, whatever that means to you, okay? I don't know why looking at this queen of swords, it's like I'm putting my sword down when it comes to this love connection. I'm tired of fighting for something. All right. I don't have the energy or the time to fight for something anymore. There's been a lot going on here in this situation. And I feel like you're just tired. You're ready to put your sword down and go after what it is and see what other opportunities that you have out here with someone here with the three of pentacles that will work together with you so you can get a serious victory because you may feel like you know this situation is hopeless all right let's see what is the two of pentacles here for leo please the will of fortune and the five of pentacles all right so things may have been a struggle here for you, Leo, okay? With the five of pentacles and the two of pentacles, you may have been juggling your finances here, um, juggling in a situation, uh, whether this is you juggling work, your children, um, your married life, or, or your relationship, but that's getting ready to change, all right? 
the divine is coming in. Something in your fortune here is getting ready to change. Okay, Leo. Yeah, look, we have the two of pentacles again. I'm telling you, you there's something, the two of pentacles, the two of swords and the star. Like I said, you may be in the public eye here, but spirit is telling you to have the strength to do something. Whatever this is that your heart is, is guiding you to do, Leo, it's time to do it. All right. Because that is going to change your fortune here where you no longer have to juggle or feel left out in the cold in a situation or feel abandoned or feel like you're doing something on your own. All right. It's time for you to change that. And once you do take that step and have the strength and the courage to move forward here and do something on your own or whether it's in reconciliation or new love or moving on on your own for everybody is different. Like I said, your fortune is going to change. All right. For some of y'all, y'all have something really good trying to come in for you, but it's being blocked. And you know why it's being blocked? Because you have someone deceptive in your energy, someone who does not mean you well. All right. And the divine is this this will of fortune is for you. And, and the divine is saying, no, you cannot have it until you release this situation. All right. Yeah, look, we have the nine of cups. I can't make this up. Some of y'all been wishing for something as well. And it's in your fortune for you to have this. This is part of your fortune uh, whatever this is you've been wishing for or wanting. The divine is really wanting to give it to you, but you're going to have to release something that has had you in mental conflict for a really long time. OK, like the divine saying, it's time to stop. It's time to stop and get your confidence back. All right. It's time for you to be a mystery to other people. So, you know, quit holding on to this anger. All right. Because you're protected. Your your future is protected. You will find balance again, but you have to release what's holding you back. All right. What is the ace of swords, please? For Leo spirit. What is the ace of swords for Leo? Sun, moon, rising Venus. North Node. Oh, sorry, y'all. That's too many. We gonna... What is the Ace of Swords for Leo, Spirit? The Ace of Swords. What is the Ace of Swords for Leo? What is this clarity coming in for Leo? The Ace of Swords, please. For Leo. Leo, Leo. Ace of Swords. All right. Look, this is the uh, Knight of Pentacles. All right. So, um, Leo, you may gain some clarity here as to why somebody was slow moving. All right. This person may have been loyal to you, like um, as far as not going. But let's see. Let's clear not going out and like having sex with other people. But I do feel like there is a lack of passion here. Uh, look, we have the six of wands. So you may get clarity here that for you to get loyalty and success here, Leo, you may need to move on. All right. All right, for some of you, you may get clarity that this person is loyal to you and that they do want success. Look, we have the Ace of Cups again with the Seven of Wands. For some of you, Leo, some of you are blocking out your own success here due to the fact that you're hanging on to anger from the past. OK, so for some of you, Leo, you know what I'm getting here? Somebody here. Really with this Ace of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles, somebody here is really, really reflecting on the past. All right. Somebody is really holding on to something that happened um, before and the divine is granting your wish here. Right. Within a connection. Some of you are being granted a connection somewhere where somebody's going to be loyal. You're going to have a lot of success here um, with the Ace of Swords, uh, clarity where things are going really good. But with the um, Ace of Cups and the um, Seven of wands all right the king of pentacles and the five of wands you're literally in conflict with yourself or with the past and you're literally blocking this new beginning okay that you're supposed to have that's for those of you who've been in a long-term commitment <clears throat> it's time to come out of your head okay it really is with this six of pentacles it, it, it's just i mean with this stop card it's time to come out of your head leo all right what is this uh loyalty success in the ace of wands look I mean, in the Ace of Swords, and you have the Ace of Wands. Wow. So some of you guys are really going to gain clarity here. The divine is trying to show you that this relationship is protected. Something that you have here is protected. You have the loyalty. You have the success here. 
But you need to see the growth here with the Ace of Wands. Some of you guys, there's going to be a new passionate beginning here with someone, okay? You just have to see it with the Six of Swords and the Ten um, of Pentacles. You guys are being guided on to calmer waters in this family situation, all right? But uh, here with the Vortex, which is temptation, some of you guys are being tempted here, all right, to plant seeds somewhere else with the Ace of Pentacles, because you may feel like somebody is a knight of wands, this in and out playboy, playgirl energy. And you may be wanting to put it to rest due to uh, old heartbreak here with the three of swords. But you really, really, that's why I was saying and feeling that you need to go within and gain clarity on the situation, not just uh, what your um, mind is telling you. Really listen to your heart. Ask the divine to really, really show you because the divine is really trying to show someone, but I feel like they're ignoring it because they're holding on to the past here. What is the seven of pentacles, please, spirit? What is the seven of pentacles for Leo? What is the seven of pentacles for Leo? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, no. What is the seven of pentacles for Leo? Spirit, what is the seven of pentacles for Leo? Please help us gain clarity, spirit, on the seven. Ooh, all right, y'all. Caught it. I caught it. I caught it. All right, we have the star and um, the two of swords. Once again, you guys are at a stalemate due to the past. I'm sitting here reflecting, okay? Really hoping and wishing that something would change, but not even recognizing that it has, okay? For some of you. We have the sun. Uh, the king of the ocean, which is uh, the king of cups. All right. Um, we have the king of swords. So some of you guys have uh, in the nine of swords, some of you guys are uh, having a lot of anxiety because you have more than one offer here when it comes to love. That's what I was feeling. Some of you have this old person here who probably have done you wrong and you've had a lot of um, dishonor here within this connection from this person. This person may have put you through a lot and now you have a choice to make, okay, here with the two of swords, but you don't want to see it. Do you go after new love or do you stay here within this connection and hope to see um, what is going to be, all right? But either way, whatever way you choose, Leo, you are destined to have your nine of cups here. Some of you guys have been through a lot here. When I say a lot, a lot. And, and it's caused you to um, be in mental conflict all the time. But it's time to release that because your, your fortune is here. The wheel is turning in your favor, okay? You have the star, you have a lot of major arcana out here. And, and that's because the divine is literally trying to guide you to go after your happiness, whatever that means to you. For everybody is going to be different. All right. Um, we do have Gemini. Like I said, we have Cancer. Uh, we have all the signs out here. We have Aquarius. All right. We have Taurus. Y'all, we got every sign out here. We have Virgo. So you could be dealing with any of those signs. We have Leo here. You could be dealing with another Leo like itself. A Cancer, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Spirit, what is the Ace of Cups, please? What is the Ace of Cups? The Page of Wands, all right? So this person, so whoever this person is in your energy or this new person, all right, they're trying to find a creative way here to have this new beginning with you, all right? The Page of Wands is someone who likes adventure, all right? This is someone who is trying to find some sort, like this person could be yearning for adventure or yearning, um, yearning literally to have this new beginning with you, but they may not know how. They may not know how to bring this new beginning in, but I feel like they're getting a burst of inspiration to bring in this new beginning. It's just a little tough because I feel like this person has done you wrong here in the past. Look, yeah, we have the Page of Cups and the King of Wands. So your energy is showing up, Leo. There's literally someone here who wants to come back and apologize to you here and bring in some sort of new adventure here too. So you guys can have this new loving beginning here. But this with the Five of Wands, this person knows that you're in conflict about them. They know that you're ready to walk away from them. They, they just don't know how, how to make it better. All right. What is the hermit? Spirit, what is the hermit card for Leo, please? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. What is the hermit for my lovely lions? What is the hermit? Spirit, please show us what is the hermit card. All right, we have the Six of Swords. So, like I said, it's time. 
calm. It's time to go within, all right? And because the six of swords is also our guides. It's time to go within and listen to your guides. Where are they guiding you? What is it that you're supposed to do? All right, we have the seven of wands and the two of pentacles, all right? So some of you guys are being really, really defensive here because you feel like somebody is juggling you here with the two of pentacles and the three of swords, you may feel like that's you really, you know, you really feel like somebody's up to something. OK, but right here, the divine is bringing you clarity that this person is loyal. All right. Whoever this person is, whoever had this dishonor in the past, whether, you know, the past could be a week ago, two weeks ago, a year ago, 10 years ago. But whatever it is, you're still holding on to it. But it's time for you to go within, Leo, all right, and find the calm within the storm, all right, and, and come up with this endurance, all right, here, and let go of this juggling your thoughts, juggling this pain. Because for some of you, you let it go, you pick it back up. You let it go, you pick it up. It's time to just stop and put it down. Let it go. Let it go and know that you are protected. Know that the divine is bringing balance. Some of you really, really need to cleanse your energy here because you're isolating yourself here due to the fact that you're unsure. But I feel like a lot of this is just you needing to cleanse this old energy out your life. All right. All right, spirit. What advice do you have for Leo's, please? All right, we have temptation in the reverse. All right, this came out in the reverse, but uh, so this is all about, and this is the devil card. All right, it's time to, um, it's time to release temptation. All right, whatever that temptation may be for you, for some of you, it's the temptation of being stuck. All right, it's the temptation of wanting to um, stay and not be and not move to calmer waters because you want someone to feel bad for what they did to you it's time to let that go see how these both of these people are caught up in their own vortex but they're trying to get to one another you guys are both surrounded by all this pain and this pain is stopping you guys from coming close to one another instead of jumping out and getting out that vortex it's time to get out the vortex all right it's time to move closer to one another and really ask um, the divine, how do you move forward? What is it that you're supposed to do? All right. All right. We have the Ace of Swords once again and the sun. All right. Because the you, spirit is telling you as advice, it's time to look forward to the victory and, and look forward to happiness. Some of you guys. Um, cause some of you guys are really going, are going to get, for some of you, you may get a proposal of marriage this week. Somebody may come in and, um, offer you a proposal. All right. But I feel like for some of you, you're, you're so caught up in what could be going on because in the past you may have trusted this person or felt like, um, you know, they had your best interest at heart and then you found out they didn't. So now it's really hard for you to trust because you were led astray before. But the divine is saying you are protected, Leo. I, this is protected. All right. It's time to let go of whatever this temptation is. And I feel like this temptation has to do with you being in your head. Let it go. Look towards this victory, this happiness, because you will get a proposal. All right. Some of you might get a proposal sooner than what you think. All right. But I feel like whether this is you um, being single and walking into something new or whether this is you having a rebirth here or um, a reconciliation or renewing your connection, whatever it may be, it's time for you to look forward to your happiness and the victory. You know where your heart lies. You know who you want to be with, where you want to be. So believe that that is for you because it is. All right, Leo, those are your messages. And I hope you guys have an amazing night.